Hi, I got Skidoosh 35 from The Alchemist today. I haven't tried it yet, it's brand new. I've had a couple other Skidooshes, they're all slightly different, different hot bills. Seems like they're all 7%. <clears throat> so this one, it's pretty special because it uses <clears throat> Nelson, Solveen, and Rewaka hops. New Zealand hops, I don't know if I've ever had uh, an Alchemist beer <clears throat> that used New Zealand hops. So, we'll jump into it. It's been two years since I went to The Alchemist, so I haven't really drank much of them at all, except for, like, Hetty Topper. I think I did a review of one of their orange peel double IPAs. Can't remember what that's called. Um, yeah, I thought I was kind of a little tired of The Alchemist, but just ha ended up being in stow. So, I got some, hopefully, I really like their use of the New Zealand hops. For cow... It was kind of weird when I had the single hop one from uh, Hill Farmstead, but that was real hazy. It seems like these, when they use the uh, Southern Hemisphere hops that Alchemist, it helps add a lot of haze to the beers. Um, this is almost as hazy as their All Galaxy Hop Skadoosh that I got, I think it was two years ago, maybe, oh, maybe less, I don't know. Um, and yeah, that one was also very bitter too. This. It was pretty hazy, but not malt murky. I can see my finger through it. Looks pretty good. And it has that. Yeah, I describe it as fresh cut jalapeno, maybe almost slightly roasted jalapeno. And a little bit thick and had a big trip, so I might not be smelling very good, unfortunately, but I wanted to throw this review out there. Yeah, it's, it's really big on. The Nelson Hop. I'm getting some of their like house sort of grapey malt yeast character. I'm not sure exactly what creates it, <clears throat> but it's a uh, got some of that. But I feel like it doesn't jump out and yell alchemist at me. Maybe in part because the hops are so different. But it doesn't smell like it's gonna be too bitter. The head is looking real great already. Getting some nice layers of thick foam. But I do like that smell. It's Maybe a little white grapey, a little lemony. Hmm. That's pretty darn good. It's not too bitter. Though the Alchemist, they originally had a topper and their beers were known for being the sweeter, more floral, less bitter IPAs. Now, in comparison to most things I drink, they're quite bitter, but this is, I think, less bitter than maybe Hetty Topper. And I, I like that quite a bit. It's a little spicy. It's creamy. It has that grapey, kind of purple drink type thing. Mm, actually, it's it got some bitterness. It's going to build up <clears throat> um, through drinking one of these, but I'm liking it. Maybe some underripe tropical fruits come in there. Pineapple, mango, maybe peach a little bit. My palate is, yeah, I can, maybe I can't smell that well, and my palate's a little bit shot from having beers all day. I, yeah, I went to Alchemist at like 11, 11.30 or something a.m. today. Now this is this is a really nice beer, and you know, it's got the nice lacing, even though this glass wasn't even perfectly clean when I poured it, and it still has this awesome lacing and head retention. Because the alchemist cares about every aspect of their beers, making it exactly the way they want it, um, and it's coming through with this beer. Yeah, I really that that smell is is really fun. Um, sometimes Nelson can be weird. I didn't like the Nelson Bright from uh, Treehouse. I think I did. I uploaded that review recently. Uh, uh, this is doing it for me. Mm. Yeah. Glad I picked it up and. I don't know how long it's going to be available. A lot of these skadooshes are super short. They just came out two days ago. Um, so if you're... Has happened to be in Stowe, Northern Vermont. This is really worth picking up. It's it's uh, opening a... Not a whole new world to the Alchemist to me, but maybe a little side world. And maybe 425, yeah. Very nice. Bye.